screen so that we can invite, I think, the last speaker, Dr. Nilesh Hiralalchite, to um, present his paper, this time focusing on a different kind of topic, so college students' employability. Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, am I audible? Yes, please, please. Uh, yeah. Go uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Nilesh Chitte, Assistant Professor in the Department of English, uh, Pratap College, Maharashtra. Uh, the title uh, of my research paper is Enhancing the Possibility of uh, uh, College Students' Employability Through Improved Soft Skill Curriculum Majors. Uh, in today's uh, competitive job market, having a degree is not enough to secure employment. College students often enter the workforce lacking uh, these crucial skills, uh, leading to difficulties in finding employment and uh, thriving in their careers. The importance of soft skill in the workforce uh, has been widely recognized. Employers are increasingly uh, looking for uh, employees who possess not only technical skills, but also soft skills. A survey by LinkedIn revealed that 57% of the leaders believe that soft skills are more important than technical skills. Uh, soft skills refer to a set of personal attributes that enable individuals to interact effectively and harmoniously uh, with others in the workplace. Employers uh, know the importance of soft skills in the work, uh, workplace and uh, often prioritize them uh, while hiring the candidates. Therefore, it's essential to develop and enhance students' soft skills while they are still in college. This study um, aims to explore the efficacy of enhanced soft skill curriculum majors in improving college students' employability uh, possibilities. Uh, previous research has em emphasized the importance of soft skills uh, in the workforce and employers look for empl uh, employees with, uh, who possess a strong uh, communication skill, uh, teamwork, leadership, uh, problem solving skills. And um, uh, apart from them, uh, there are the other skills like uh, collaboration, adaptability and flexibility, critical thinking, time management, networking, creativity and innovation. Um, uh, these are the skills that the employers look for uh, in the candidates. Developing the skills um, can not only improve students' employability, but also enhance their overall personal and professional growth. And therefore, it's crucial for colleges to prepare uh, their students with the necessary soft skills to succeed in job market. Undoubtedly, um, as uh, I discussed uh, earlier, that um, say that the, the soft skills are essential for college students to succeed in their future careers and to meet uh, uh, with the employer's demand, colleges and universities are uh, incorporating soft skill uh, curricula in their pro uh, programs. Uh, however, despite the growing demand of uh, the soft skill in the job market, traditional curricula often fail to address this need. In some autonomous institutes and colleges, the present uh, curricula are not sufficient to meet with the expectation of stockholders. Uh, the curricula don't cover all the soft skills that are high in demand in job market. Uh, some of the skills without any research or feedback have randomly been incorporated as uh, the part of the syllabus. Another problem in the current state of soft skill uh, education is uh, it doesn't, <coughs> sorry, it doesn't offer a separate and full-fledged uh, course based on soft skill, which is the need of the art. As I mentioned earlier, a uh, few soft skills are randomly introduced uh, as a part of another English course to balance it. In addition to this, the pathetic situation is at some places, the students' regular coursework lack the soft skill uh, in their curriculum. And this makes me feel that there is a need for tailored uh, soft skill training programs to meet the specific requirements of uh, different industries. By identifying the problems uh, in the um, uh, current scenario of the soft skill curricula, the uh, potential solution is to integrate certain valuable majors uh, in the college program. Uh, such majors aim to provide students with uh, the skills needed to succeed in the workforce. Uh, these majors 
uh, can be done at all the levels of designing the courses, uh, methods of teaching, evaluation and implementation. Um, they can be implemented on various ways, including incorporation of uh, soft skill courses, uh, internships, mentorships, and other experiential learning opportunities. Uh, to find the efficacy of uh, the improved uh, soft skill curricula, the measures that are suggested are, and I very quickly mention a few of them. Uh, number one is uh, the curriculum should be well designed. Uh, it should specifically uh, fix the exact uh, required duration and number of sessions. Uh, it should uh, it should be meaningful. Uh, sorry, it should be uh, minimum a ten week uh, long program. The curriculum must consist uh, weekly. Uh, four art sessions uh, that cover the uh, intended skills. The sessions would include lectures, workshops, group discussions, and interactive activities that will be uh, designed to um, according to the requirement of the stretch. Uh, the second one is uh, the curriculum content uh, should be relevant and up to date uh, with the current job market. Uh, it um, it should meet with the specific needs of the students and the uh, industry they are interested in. Uh, it should ensure that it covers all the uh, necessary soft skills uh, to achieve the desired outcome in terms of employability. It is crucial to develop a strong soft skill curricula that would align with industry requirements. Uh, uh, the next uh, suggestion is the only the theoretical course is not enough. Uh, it should be implemented with the practical work and for effective implementation of the course, it should uh, include the assignments and projects, field work, internships, the real life exposure can only reap the results. The next uh, suggestion is uh, uh, the teaching methodology should be student uh, centered and uh, interactive, allowing students to develop their soft skills through uh, active participation and engagement, a periodical feedback uh, from the students and assignments of their engagement and participation, uh, participation uh, levels should be done. Uh, the uh, another uh, major is that the curriculum should have industry partnerships and internships to ensure that the students have the opportunity to apply the soft skill uh, they have learned in real world settings. For this purpose, the employment uh, industry has to tie up uh, with the colleges and uh, update their demands. They should also conduct the campus interviews as um, the engineering or the IT industries do. Uh, the another suggestion is that the curriculum uh, should have a robust system for assessing the students' progress and providing feedback to them um, uh, that how much they have improved in soft skill. And um, uh, the last one is that um, the efficacy of the soft skills uh, curriculum can be measured by tracking uh, the employment outcomes of the alumni who have completed the program. This can be done by conducting surveys and collecting data on their employment status job satisfaction and uh, uh, soft, uh, soft skill training they have taken. So um, this can be, um, uh, what could I say, this, uh, the majors uh, uh, could be suggested very quickly. Um, um, uh, so due to the lack of the time, I cut it short and uh, uh, I uh, jump on to the last topic that is uh, the, the challenges. I mean, um, but the implementation of the soft skill curriculum majors is not uh, without its challenges. It means the educators do face the uh, uh, the challenges while designing and implementing the course. To enumerate some of them, uh, one study has found that the faculty members may lack um, the training and resources needed for effectively uh, uh, deal with the career, I mean, skill uh, enhancement courses. And um, the another one is that the students may uh, may not find these courses as much as uh, they give the weightage to their technical courses. Um, and so uh, there is the, the possibility of uh, the low participation uh, in such program. So um, yeah, thank you. Thank um, you very much you. for you. your insight into this. Uh, topic and the idea for sure we share your opinion that soft skills are equally important for the employability of graduates in actually any country. Uh, and uh, although you were literally 
the last you are not uh, the last in <laughs> terms of you know the importance of the topic and also the diversity the range of teams the conference uh, and the authors of the papers have 